A teen in California is facing serious charges accused of calling in a fake emergency at a local mosque. Now, new documents reveal he could be linked to more cases nationwide. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver is live at the jail in Seminole County, where the suspect just had his first appearance this afternoon. And Catherine, the 17-year-old is being charged as an adult. Yes, and for that reason, we are choosing to share his name with you and show you video of him in custody here at the jail this afternoon. Now that he is behind bars, we also have those new court court documents that claim he is linked to hundreds of swatting attacks, including that call to the mosque in Sanford. I'm going to commit a mass shooting. A call to 911 on May 12th is what directed law enforcement to this mosque on Myrtle Street, where deputies responding to a man claiming he was armed. I have an illegally modified full auto AR-15. Found no shooter there. You are there now? <laughs> yeah. I'm inside my car. Investigators now say Alan Filion is the suspect behind that swatting call. You're here charged with four counts. The teenager from California faced a judge from jail Wednesday on multiple charges related to making false reports. Concerning planning a bomb, explosive, or use of a weapon. Newly released court documents reveal investigators believe the 17-year-old is a serial swatter and responsible for hundreds of swatting and bomb threat incidents all all over the country. They include high schools, historical black colleges, mosques, government buildings, even military bases and the Pentagon. A 20 page arrest affidavit for Filion lays out the evidence. Records from a username claiming to be behind multiple swatting attacks, IP addresses and the search warrant that led to his arrest. Problem cause exists. The teen is being held at the jail without bond. And prosecutors filed documents requesting his detention here because they believe that he is a threat to the community. So he will stay in custody until there is a hearing on that motion. Filion is facing four counts total. All of them are felonies. In Seminole County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.